I believe that it could have been possible to feel happy, at least under this kind of circumstances. But, you know, I'm not working. Uh, and look, you know, people are even interested to listen to me. What do you want more? How would you describe yourself as a designer? Complex. <laughs> uh, passionate, I would say. That's you know, we can live without fashion, uh, and we can live very well without fashion. Then if you can, if you, if you like fashion, and you embrace fashion, and you want to wear fashion, well, good for you. You know, in the sense that it's a good gesture to yourself, and it's a good gesture to, to, to you know, to project that to the other. So, it's a house, Saint Laurent is a house of, uh, built on love. Uh, build on the love of two people uh, that they helped each other and they loved each other and uh, you know so saying this well, is is a house of is a house based on principles in a way you know and values values in life that go a bit beyond you know your creativity and your creation and your self uh, path you know uh, the low point. No low point. No. no. I mean, it would be blasphemy, you know, to say that there's low point. What, you know, I, I live an amazing life in Paris. I've been loved by many colleagues and collaborators. You know, I, I had the chance to, you know, to, to work in fashion and to be in fashion is a privileged place, you know. And I think it's normal. I think the way that has to go. I mean, to be controversial may make people think. And that's, that's something important, especially in our days, you know, where, where we feed it with, you know, with no matter what. And, uh, and so at least, you know, a controversy make people stop, you know, and, you know, have a few questions and then they can answer whatever they want. And also, it's not synonymous of mediocrity, no, uh, to be controversial. Um, and, and this is something that I think it fits me, you know, because... To be controversial. Yeah, I'm controversial with myself, <laughs> you know. Well, I love the first one. Because it was the first one, mm. uh, and I believe that I did a really good job. Uh, nobody inspired me more than Mucha Prada. Why? The original mind that she has, and the fact that also she's a woman, and when she's a woman, and then when she, let's say wanted or looking for something or researching for something and and you could give it to her she could find it and then she, you could see that you know she was wearing it and embrace it and I mean it was like uh, uh, it's very it's very it's very exceptional um, well I can't say that Monsieur Saint Laurent didn't inspire me uh, You know, and also I have a passion for, I have a passion for the Japanese designers, you know, so uh, I'm really happy actually for the CFDA, they give it to Ray Kawakuba, I mean, I think it's like, there's justice in this life, you know. Lots and lots and lots of vacation. <laughs> 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 Around. <laughs>